I'm Jennifer Angel and this is my weekly message. Now first of all, I would like to say thank you to everyone for all your love, support, your notes and uh, comments and I don't always get you know, back to answer them immediately. I do try to get to them eventually, so I apologize for that. Uh, life gets very, very busy. I have two websites, jenniferangel.com on the New York Daily News site and my own independent site at mistressofastrology.com and of course my astro pet site. Um, but I do, please know I do read them and uh, I really appreciate them. I love getting the notes and I'm trying to um, clear my schedule a little bit more this year so I can be a little more interact, personally interactive with, with you all. And uh, I'm on the move. I'm moving to New York City. So um, hopefully I can get my... Uh, Jennifer Angel show my TV show up and running, and and um, I'll be able to have a little more support, and uh, you know, right here in the office to help me get a little more organised. Okay, <laughs> so thank you for all your messages. I really do appreciate it. Now this week, there's a couple of things on the horizon which are coming up. Neptune is uh, is on the move, and Neptune uh, is a slow-moving planet. It's going into Pisces, which is the sign it rules on February the fourth. This is fantastic. I'm very excited about this because um, Pi um, Neptune is all about uh, imagination and intuition. Uh, it's also it's a very lovely romantic um, vibration as well, but. In, in my thoughts um, about this move, I really feel that it's the beginning or, uh, of course, the change has been happening for some time, but it's like a real movement of a oneness coming together and, and people being more interested in evolving as a person and all about personal growth. And, of course, that's what my TV show is all about as well. So wish me luck on getting that uh, produced and launched. launched. Uh, so, you know, that's a fabulous thing that's happening and we're right on the verge of that happening now. Um, so what else is happening? Mars is still retrograde in sitting in Virgo until April the 4th, 14th. And Saturn is about to go retrograde next week on the 8th of February right through to June the 22nd, okay, so whenever a planet is retrograde, particularly when it's going retrograde, it can be a little bit of sort of upheaval, but I always like to say to people, look, if things are not working well in your life, um, then when a planet is retrograde, it can really help to give you the energy inside, a uh, stimulus to make changes. And of course, whenever we are making changes in our life, it can be confronting. It pushes us out of our comfort zone, out of so we don't stagnate, and we have to move through that until we get settled again. If things are working well in your life, um, then you know it can just help you evaluate where you are, where you come from, where you want to go, and set plans to move forward in a in a positive manner. So. Um, all roads do lead to um, Rome, I'm trying to think of a better word than that, but uh, it's, it's the journey that you take. So it's the journey and your attitude about the journey, which is really important. Um, I wish everybody a great week, and once again, thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.